Hey, it's, uh, welcome back. Uh, what are we up to? Well, again, not much to be honest with you, but yeah, I've got to stay off that marketplace on Facebook because there's always something on there I want. And the wife says, yeah, but you bought it. Anyway, let's not go about them. I bought something. Now, you do know that my boat is moored at Wales next to the sea in a, in a harbour which dries and there's sandbanks and everything. And, and, and I was advised a depth sounder would be a good idea for a boat like mine. I only shift about, I think, two foot six, two foot nine of water. So, but even so. So I've been looking for one. And to be honest with you, most of them are way out of my budget. Yeah, way, way out. You know, sort of 150, 200 pounds for a, for a depth sounder. So I was going to resort to Dylan's way of doing it. You know, the chap who does turn left. He sails around the England the wrong way on his boat. And he just uses a pole. <laughs> he just sticks a pole in the ground and says, oh, it's that deep. Because he does a lot of creek and up rivers and beds and things like that. But anyway, I'm on, I'm on Face Marketplace. And guess what? There was a depth sounder for sale. Now, so we did a bit of negotiation and we got it. Yeah, but it's not a depth sounder. Now, somebody else came on and said earlier on, uh, on an earlier video, don't bother with a depth sounder, just get a, uh, a fish finder. They do exactly the same thing as long as they show the depth. So what I actually got was, wait for it and don't laugh, warn you, don't laugh. It's a let me just say Eagle Cuda 128 fish finder depth sounder. And here it is. Let me just do it so you don't see us see the thing. And there it is, you see. So and most of them when you all get on eBay, they don't have the old transducer thing of Egypt with it, do they? So I, I texted the guy and said, has it got, and he said, yes, it's got a transducer, and, and below, believe it or not, uh, here it is, with all the cables and bits and pieces, and this is the transducer. Now, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's only got a suction on, but you can fit it with the bracket solidly, so you can either just put it back on the back of the transom, you can actually fit it through the hole, apparently, I've got, I've got all the... The manuals and everything but but it also come because they regard this one let me just show you look it's got you always tell say you've got the manuals with it yeah and instructions yeah never read them but it's got them all in there isn't it? anyway so and what it's referred to it's referred to as a portable one so i presume this is more for fishing kayaks and things like that because not only did it come with the transducer, the 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 head unit, it come with this bloody great box because it's I presume you just it's freestanding so you can stand that. Let me just put the camera down so you can see it. You, you you hang on. Let me just see if I can push you down a little bit. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Why is that then? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, that's peculiar, isn't it? So. Hey, hey, you you just bear with me, okay? What I'm going to do is if I turn you that way and then I can then do that. That's it. <laughs> yeah, there's always something. Yeah, so so it, it, it come with this, this boxy thing here. Can you see? Uh, and then what happens is this, it, it, it clicks onto there like that. And then it, it's freestanding, which I thought is quite good, but not applicable for, for what I want to do. But... It runs, because it's a portable one, it it runs off 12 volts. And there in there, look, there's a, a battery packy thing in there that, that you put your batteries in. It, it, and it takes eight AAs, what are they called? Yeah, the normal torch batteries. It, it takes eight of those, which go on this little thing here. Can you see? Four on one side, four on the other, clips up. But of course, eight, one and a half, see 12 volts 
what boat voltage do we use on the boat 12 so what i'm going to do is convert it to 12 volts so that i can run it off the batteries at the moment because to be honest with you i've not even switched it on so i don't even know if it works so it might not work and then we just throw it away so there you go and then i've then got to figure some way of, of fixing this on the boat uh so that uh I can see it from where I'm steering. Yeah. What do you reckon? I don't know. It wasn't a lot of money, so uh, just a couple of cups of coffee, really. So, yeah, so we're going to play with that. Uh, so, I'm going to go away now, put you on hold, and I'm going to go and connect the 12 volts up to it to see if it runs off 12 volts, because that would be, if, yeah, because it might not even work. So, I, I don't particularly want to. Uh, uh, let me put you up again. Oh, God, dear, dear me. I'm, I, oh, I'm at an angle now. Look, look. Nigel won't be happy because I'm at an angle. There we go. There we are, Nigel. <laughs> Nigel's my number one fan, by the way. Hi, Nigel. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go away to see if it works. If it works, come back to you. Oh, and then I've got another problem for you to sort out because I did another silly, 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 silly thing was when I took the propeller off the outboard to clean the outboard up. There was a load of nuts, and I forgot what order. I know, I know, but that's another thing to work out. We'll work on that later. Anyway, be back soon. Right, you drew me back again. We've done a bit of electrical work. <laughs> so, what we've done is this was on top of the battery pack. The way in that grey thing. So, what I've done is disconnect the batteries, and I've run 12 volts to it through some connectors and a bit of wire to a, a, a battery because as you know I've got four of these batteries that I had from my old days for motorcycling and so that, that's my sort of source of supply on the boat so now what I'm going to do is plug this in for the, and I mean this is the first time now if I swear well I don't swear do I no so, believe it or not, this is, as I say, the transducer thingamajib, and that's got a quite a long wire on it. And then, let me just see, at the end of it, let's just see what's in At the end of it, we've got two wires. What we've got is, that wire there goes to that battery boxy thingy, and that bit there goes to the, the unit. So, what we're going to do... So I have to take my glasses off because short, short sighted, I'm not long sighted. So we plug that into there. Yeah, right, okay. Seems plugged in. Now, have I wasted my money? <laughs> we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Here we go then. Let's plug it in and see what happens. If there's a big bang and a big cloud of smoke and loads of flames, you know it caught fire. Oh, well, nothing's happened. I've plugged it all in, and let's. It says PWR power. It made a boo boo. It made. Look at, hey, <laughs> look at that. Believe it or not, it's fifty-seven feet deep. The water below me, and I'm on the hard. <laughs> So there you go, it works. So so that's brilliant, isn't it? I, 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 I'm not sure uh, how this works or what it does, how it does it, or how, how it, how, how it, how it uh, calculate how deep it is or anything, but we'll we work that out uh, one way. Uh, oh. Menu up, down, off, auto, yeah. Menu down. Off, auto, oh yeah, look, auto, menu, well, we'll, we'll play with that uh, in a minute, and then we'll, we'll get back to, I'm going to have a look at the instructions now, now that, look at that, apparently it's got a demonstration mode on it, so let's go and have a look, see how we load that up, and then I can show you the demonstration, but could be good, see, I don't particularly want it, the fishy bit, all I want is the bit at the top which says how deep the water is and as long as that works I'm not bothered can you see 
So it does say it at the top there. Can you say I'm, I'm in 57 feet of water? <laughs> right, okay, then. be back in a minute. Right. I'm glad it come. Look, it's come with a 50 page booklet on how to use it. So anyway, I've put it on simulated mode. So I don't know if you can see it, but as you can see, it, 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 it's doing a simulation and it, it's showing the feet, but it can't scan the course. And it actually shows fishes on it. How on earth it can show it? Oh, there comes a fish now. Can you see it? Oh, I'll tell you what, we're going to have great fun with this, aren't we? 68, 67 feet. That's not bad at all, is it? What do you think? I, I think this is going to be perfectly okay for what I want to do, as long as it is wor working, of course, with with this. Because <laughs> it's no good reading a simulator. It says I'm in 30 foot of water. And I'm in the... <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even... Anyway... We just got to figure out somewhere fitting it on the boat now, haven't we? Look at that, I'm going Molly, tech, 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 Ted, tech, Ted. What do you reckon? How much do you reckon I paid for it? There's a prize for the person who gets nearest to the amount in UK pounds. I, I will let you know on the next video. Okay, well, there's no prize really. The prize will be your mention, John, that uh, you got it right. Okay, let's just say it was at the cheaper end of Ted's budget. <laughs> and as you know, I ain't got a really big budget. Anyway, be good, be happening. Oh no, I was going to tell you about this propeller problem I got, wasn't I? Anyway, let me just put that down for a second. Let's just power it off. Uh, in one, I'm not sure how does it power off. Oh no. Uh, off in one. Two, yeah, power. Oh, that's good. I tell you what, it's quite clever, isn't it? As I say, it's made by a company called Eagle, which is, I think, a part of. Uh, Another group of companies, but I'm not sure which group of companies they're part of. Uh, oh, yes, I'm not sure. Let me just see. It's, it's American, uh, so uh, I think they might be part of. Yeah, yeah, they're part part of Lawrence or Low Ranch. Low Ranch, yeah. There you go. So, no, big company, isn't it? That's good fun, isn't it? Right now, let's just go. Now, look, when I took this propeller off. And I put the bolts in here so I wouldn't lose them. And then, because I've got to put that on right, and I let me just see. Let me just see. Yeah. See, it, it, it. This is the the propeller. As, as you can see, look at that. I cleaned it all up and gave it a nice coat of paint. Any, any, anyway, it, it, it's got a. Uh, a thready bit in the middle and then it's got this nut I don't know if you can see it there can you uh, let me just show you it's got that nut there yeah then it's got this washer thing here and it's then got this nut which looks like it's had a couple of little axle cuts in it can you see and then we've got a, a a, a shaky proofy one on the end so you know i thought i would have had a a split pin nut of some description but we'll sort that out anyway i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it today because it's bloody weather's terrible today so we got to sort that out anyway i'm now gonna go away a happy boy because i've now got a depth sounder that works and uh, then i can uh, figure out how where now so i'm going to mount it i'm going to try and do it the way that uh, dylan did it you know no turn uh just turning left the guy he's mounted inside the boat on a so it turns round to face out the door can you see so it, i'm not going to mount it outside because uh, uh you then need covers and water and christ knows what so i'm, I'm going to try and put it on a bracket inside so that that means it, it turns around if, if you look at Dylan's on his boat, that's the way he's done it. He's, he's sort of done it. Uh, so, it, is it Dylan? I forget his name now. I'm sure it's Dylan. Yeah, yeah. I'll check it. I'll let you know next time I come on. So, that's what you can do. So, that, that's what you'll see next when I work out how to fit it because it's not got, because it, it fits in, as you know, it fits into this. So, you know, I might mount that there and mount. Yeah, could, could do that, couldn't I? Sort of mount it like. Well, that takes up so much room, does it? But. Yeah. If anybody's got the bracket that fits on here, that screws onto a, a flat surface, let me know before I 
start start at it with my hacksaw and cock it up. Anyway, be good, be happy. Speak to you later.